What's up guys? Today we're going to uh, put some accessories on the uh, new Scott Barber that I purchased to make it um, ride a bit better and uh, look better and be more comfortable and safer. So we, that's what we're doing today, I guess. of uh, new items to purchase. All right, we're in the garage, opening all the boxes. Most of them are from Amazon. Um, let's start with this one. Uh, we've got a headlight from Eagle Lights. All right, let's open this. It's not easy with one hand, but we're gonna do it. Got the Gen 2 headlight with the halo. Okay, let's put it back. We also got ceramic detailer that we use, that I use on my car, and this is great for uh, motorcycle any services. Um, I've used a different one, but it got clogged up and just became like yogurt so can't really use it so i think this is a better one next box what do we have do we have i believe these are highway bars okay we got some hardware
right guys this this took the longest to put these clips back in was a pain all right but looks good so we're going to continue Finally installed the headlights. Let's see what that looks like. Low beam, high beam. to install the seat pretty much the most important part of the accessory list for the bike all right let's see what this is gonna look like when it's done so far it's so good let's bolt everything down Pretty good. Much better than the terrible seat we had before.
remove the uh, left side uh, pegs. We can install the left side highway bar and go from there. Next order of business, saddlebag. Looks like we have to remove this panel again. Okay, this is the next day and we're gonna continue with our list of accessories for our Scout Barber 20. Another thing we need to change is to flip the mirrors from top position to the bottom. Two reasons, uh, looks cool and the second one, probably more important, the bike will finally fit under the bike cover properly. Guys, we're continuing on our accessory list. It's another day and obviously another location, as you can see. Today we're installing uh, passenger pegs and we're going to wash the bike and ceramic coat it. So let's get right to it. All right, guys, we did the first C-clamp. Looks pretty good. Let's do the second one and put them on the bike. We're gonna install the left side. Uh, definitely have to put Loctite on them because the vibration will undo these bolts. We installed the side of camera and um, we're gonna install the heel guard. All right, guys, we installed the passenger foot pegs with a heel guard on both sides. Look pretty good. Let's get the bike washing.
as you can tell guys the battery powered leaf blower is not strong enough we have to use a rag the leaf blower that we got from amazon was much better it really did the job so we had to wipe down the bike and it's still drying once it's done we're going to uh, apply ceramic coating onto it but first we need to clean it with the uh, 50 50 alcohol to water solution As you guys can see, the bike is nice and clean and ceramic. Now you just need to wait 24 hours for it to cure. Hopefully it won't rain. These are the chemicals used in cleaning and ceramic coating the bike. Also used on my Indian Challenger and my personal vehicle. They're all available on Amazon and the links as always in the description below.